The next nice feature I would like to talk about is uh, useful uh, help for the help system for the tooltips. We've added context sensitive tooltips and this can be enabled and by default it's set to be enabled. If you go under CAM preferences and go to user interface preferences, you will notice that we have context tooltips. And when this is selected, if you go into any of the operation, machining operation dialog, let's say for example we want to talk about to access roughing. As you select these, as you hover the cursor over each of these uh, commands or uh, buttons in here, you'll see that it gives you a context sensitive help topic so you don't have to open the help system, the online help system to read about it. You can just hover your cursor on top of each of these as you try to input your parameters, you will notice that it gives you a context sensitive help so it makes it much more easier for you to uh, learn and how to use the product and take advantage of the different options that are built into it. So you just hover your mouse over the options and it will automatically bring in a context sensitive tooltips on each of these dialogs. And these are available in all of our configurations. And these are being also added to our other modules as well, not just the mill module. We'll find it in uh, Art and Nest and Turn modules as well, the context sensitive tooltips. This is one of the uh, you know, very nice enhancements to the online help system that's gone in and a lot of work has been gone into it to get this, to make it easier for our users to use the product. Now there's one other nicer enhancement I would like to talk about is being able to use expressions in results. So you can see that when I hover the mouse on it, the context sensitive tooltips pops right up there. So it tells me what the expressions are. So I'm going to enable the expressions and let's take a look at how we can use these expressions in here. Now I have a bunch of tools that I've created in here. I would like to go ahead and add a new tool and I want to create a new tool. Uh, let's say I want to put in a 3 8 inch end mill. So rather than figuring out what that is in decimals, I could enter in 3 8 and it will automatically, the expression would compute the uh, decimal value for what you put in. So you can use these in all of the input uh, boxes in VisualCam's mill module, RhinoCam's mill module, you can enter these values in here and you can define a new tool and you can also establish these parameters in your operation dialogs in here. So if you go into any of the machining operations, let's say you want to program a pocket operation, you could go into your cut levels and you can specify a total cut depth. You want to go an eighth inch deep, you just specify it. You can either hit the tab key or just click on the expressions tooltip and it automatically uh, you know, establishes the value that you put in there. So you don't have to go ahead and figure out what, you know, convert it to 0.125 and enter it. You can use 1.8 and it will automatically you know, factor it in for you. So those are the very nice uh, enhancements, uh, some of the miscellaneous enhancements that have gone into the product.